Welcome to Hey Bud Smoking Barbecue. Today we are doing a 29 day dry aged pork roast. All right, so this is a bone in. This is just like a ribeye roast of beef, but this is pork. So this is gonna be awesome, stay tuned. Welcome back. Uh, like I said, today we are doing a pork loin roast. So this thing has been aging since, uh, today is the 28th of August, and this thing has been aging since the 30th of July. So this thing is gonna be good. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap it and see what we get out of this thing. So we use cheesecloth on this, and then we control the temperature uh, in our uh, outside refrigerator. It basically kept it from uh, 36 degrees to about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's how we were able to keep this thing and not have it go bad. So we, so we wrap this in cheesecloth. Oh man, this is looking good already. All right, you can see right here, so it has good uh, pellicles on the outside, so the brine, whatever you want to call it. Um, it has shrunk quite a bit. Uh, we left the bones on it, so they basically help protect the meat or needs. So we're gonna end up taking those off as we carve this thing up. But uh, this is looking good so far. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on cutting this thing up, trimming it out, and all that fun stuff. Oh, it smells good. Come off real nice. Get a little bit of this off right here. And then you can see already the difference between the outside and the inside. This is still soft. There's no decay smell. It actually looks really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and take this end off. That's fairly tender. See, nice color, nice fat. You can really lose a lot. We're gonna take this part here off. So that's all pretty much fat. There's a little bit of meat on there, but it's close to the pellico, so we're not gonna use it. Right, we'll take this side off. So, same thing. I'm really liking the way this turned out. So we did leave the, the fat cap intact whenever we went to age this, so that we would help protect the meat, and it definitely did that. So we're losing a minimal amount of meat. There's a decent amount of fat within this, but I'm really not worried about it drying out as it cooks. So we're gonna cook this as a whole roast. We're not gonna you know split up into like chops or anything. There, right there. So, still turned out pretty good. You can see all good color. Ah, smells good. It, has, it definitely has that cheesy smell, like the age, just like you get with beef. So this is gonna be really, really interesting. But we are cooking this. Ah, man, God, it smells good. So we're gonna end up cooking this uh, just like a roast. So, uh, because it's pork, we're gonna go to about 145 to 160. Uh, so we're gonna do this on the Traeger today. Um, we're gonna get this thing seasoned up and 
and get it out there. All right, we're gonna put it in this pan here. Let's go ahead and get our seasoning going. All right, this is our homemade blend of uh, just a Hawaiian sea salt. Uh, and then we got some uh, pepper, some uh, coarse ground pepper, garlic, paprika, some uh, onion, minced onion, and then cumin. So this is what we like. And this is gonna cook on the Traeger at about 250 to get it up to temperature like we talked about. meter thermometer today. We're gonna get this right in the center in the, the medius part there. And then I'm just gonna slide it on in there. So that'll give us a good reading and then that'll allow us to uh, keep track of this so we don't overcook it because we don't want to waste a good piece of meat. So all right let's get this thing on the grill. temperature of about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so now we're going to transfer up here, pull our probe out. There. All right. So we're going to go ahead and trim her up. See how she turned out. I'm just going to go ahead and just cut her in half here. So. <laughs> Juices are flowing immediately. Oh my god. Look at that. Not even pushing down on it. This is just all that fat has rendered. Oh man, that is beautiful. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh. Seasoning is perfect. Let's get this little cut off of here. Oh, super juicy, super tender. does not have the normal kind of like uh, cheesy like aged cheese kind of flavor it actually like tastes really it's very you can taste the pork a little bit of the spices from the seasoning but it's super tender super juicy mm. you definitely get a little bit of that cheesiness just a tiny bit. It's not like, like beef in any way, shape, or form. And that is just dripping juice right there. That is just falling out of there. 
That's crazy. Yeah. And it's super juicy, super tender. I mean, it just pulls apart. That's a win in my book. Oh man, that is so good. All right, well, like I said, this was 29 day dry aged pork. We just, we kept it simple. Just the, the our homemade seasoning. And then uh, we trimmed everything off of it. Put it on the grill. So let all that fat render that's in there. This thing tastes delicious, smells delicious. Highly recommend this. Yeah, we're probably gonna do a video of actually showing the, like the process here in the future. So uh, like and subscribe. Uh, let us know what you think, and uh, just keep that smoke rolling. See ya.